Okay, so this is the cross stitch I am working on for my cousin for her wedding. Um, this is what I've gotten done so far. Well, let me turn it sideways so you can get a full view. Um, this part here is completely stitched. I have outlined all of this here. Um, of course, all the wording. And then this background portion here. And now I am working on this side. And, oh, that's what I've gotten done so far on that side. And I normally use both hands when I stitch. Usually I have my right one on top, my left one on bottom. I know it's kind of back, I don't know if that's backwards for me being right handed or not, but that's just the way I stitch. On this particular one, I believe it is 18 count. Um, not particularly sure what size needle I am using. I use a few different sizes depending on what I'm cross stitching, which I have another. I've got, actually I've got like three going right now. Um, never one for doing just one at a time. I'm hoping sometime in the future that I can get an actual camera. Or find a different way to record these than using my phone because I know that with my phone it kind of... It's kind of shaky. But that's what I have available to me right now.
and I have tried the railroad technique that they use for when doing like this, but with this particular project, it then it doesn't work too well because all of these areas right here are anywhere from like here it's one thread. Yes, it's one thread to all the way up to like five threads down here. And same with over here. A lot of this, like all the whites, five thread. All these real thick dark brown is all five thread. All the dark greens, five thread. So it just it doesn't work real re real well to use the railroading technique, um, except for these areas. And it just it's one of those things. I do it sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Um, most of the time I just stitch. The one thing I do strive to do is I do strive to make sure that uh, all my bottom stitches go the same way and all the top stitches go the same way. And as I'm sure you've noticed all of these half stitches are going one direction, which is, let's see if I can get it to focus here. All my top threads on these X's go the same way as my half stitches here. Um, and I apologize for the dirty nails. I'm still getting used to having nails. <laughs> but uh, to me, it just, it, for my particular projects, to me, it looks neater um, than, say, if my top stitches on the on my X's were going the opposite way of these. To me, it just it doesn't look as neat. But that's my personal opinion. The way I view it, do what you want. As long as it looks good to you and to those to, to those that you gift it to or that see it, then what does it really matter? Um, but I'm kind of on a time crunch with this one too, which is part of why I've only been working on this one for. So I've only had the project I want to say for about a month now, and. It's two pages for this one, but for me, this is quite a bit in a month's time because I've got a 10 month old, so <laughs> I'm having to do this around him and around school, but get it to refocus. As you can see, there it is. And okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to show off some of my other ones. Okay, this is a Heaven and Earth design one I'm doing. I've gotten... About three and a half pages done. I've done some more down this way, but it's kind of hard to see under all this, <laughs> all the part threads. Um, but I'm on page four, which is all this right in here and a couple of rows through here. Um, this is all this background. It's deer stitches. And let's see. I'm not supposed to technically show this one because it's for my little sister and I promised her I wasn't going to show any, but there's what I've gotten done on that one. And that's my third one going. And I've got some small ones around, but yeah. I don't work on those too often because they're just kind of when I get need a break from these. So, anyhow, that's my cross stitch. If y'all enjoyed seeing me cross stitch and want to see some more, let me know in the comments. Thanks.